Net interest margin is a measure of the difference between the interest income generated by banks or other financial institutions and the amount of interest paid out to their lenders relative to the amount of their asset. The calculation of net interest margin is equal to interest income minus interest expenses divided by total earning assets. Now let's know how usually banks generate interest income and interest expenses. Suppose David is a guy who has surplus amount of money in hand. So David deposits his cash in the bank. In return, bank will give David 10% interest rate on the deposited amount. Another guy, Beckham, is in deficit unit. So Beckham needs money from the bank. Bank will give Beckham the amount that David deposited and in return, Beckham will give bank 10% interest. The interest amount that the bank is paying to David is called interest expense and the interest amount bank is generating from Beckham is called interest income. Now let's do a math. If interest revenues are 63 million, interest costs are 42 million, earning assets are 700 million. What is the net interest margin? This is the first part. The second part is if interest costs and interest revenues double while its earning assets increase by 50%, what will happen to net interest margin? Let's do the first part first. So NM is equal to interest income minus interest expense divided by total earning asset. Here the interest income is 3 million and interest expenses are 42 million divided by 700 is the earning assets. And the result is 3% net interest margin now let's do the second part if interest costs and interest revenues double so how we can do that we can simply double the revenues and double the expenses first and then we get the difference or else we can do is that we just first calculate the difference between the revenue and cost and then multiply it by two because when the revenues and expenses are double, the differences are also double, right? So you can simply do that. So revenues minus expenses, the result is multiplied by 2 and divided by 700 multiplied by 1.5. This 1.5 because the total earning asset is increased by 50%. So we can calculate it in multiple ways. Instead of doing that, we can do is that. 700 plus 700 multiplied by 50%. The result will be the same. And we get the new NIM, which is five, 